Your DNA determines your hair color, the color of your eyes, even your height. But what if it could also tell you how sick you may get from COVID-19? New at 11, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia looks at a pioneering research underway to find out if DNA may provide clues to defeating the virus. It's April 2020. COVID-19 is raging and the medical community is struggling to make sense of it. I'm seeing young patients, old patients, people of all age ranges who are just incredibly sick. The coronavirus seems indiscriminate. Some people get extremely ill, others have minor symptoms. It turns out your DNA holds the answer. Does genetics play a role into how sick you or I would get from COVID? It certainly does. Dr. Martin Ferris studies genetics, vaccines, and immunology at UNC School of Medicine. He says your DNA can make the difference between susceptibility and long-term immunity of infectious diseases. The challenge has been in identifying the specific genes that are driving those differences. As the pandemic flourished, medical and research communities worldwide combined efforts to fight the virus. They created the COVID-19 Genetics Initiative. It's a data pooling effort where research and developments are shared in real time. Have we seen any kind of successes? There have been a number of studies that have come out that have um, pointed to specific genetic variants um, that are associated with more severe COVID disease. The research is shedding light on the interaction between the virus and the immune system, helping to create new ways to treat COVID-19. What's exciting about those is that several of those are pointing to candidates that can be uh, modified by, by common uh, uh, drug treatments that have been developed for other diseases. Some of that DNA research has resulted in things you can use right now. The DNA testing company 23andMe has an online tool which tries to predict how severe or mild your COVID-19 symptoms will be. They call it a severity calculator. You can put in, you know, your age and your comorbid conditions and your body mass index and how frequently you exercise and it will tell you the percent of, of people in our study that were hospitalized. Now, the calculator doesn't represent the general U.S. population, and the company admits there are also biases in the data which could affect the model because it doesn't include information for people who died from COVID-19. The tool that you have, I guess, is only as good as the sample that you have, right? That's right. Among its findings... The people who exercise tend to have a lower risk of COVID-19 hospitalization. The calculator grew out of a database of over 1 million people who submitted their DNA to the company. From those people, it conducted a survey to see if any were affected by the coronavirus. Meanwhile, other genetic research being done by 23andMe has helped advance medical knowledge exponentially. COVID-19 accelerated the pace of scientific research you know, beyond anything I've seen in my life. The super speed in which the COVID vaccines were developed points the way for genetics research. DNA breakthroughs are not going to be limited to just the coronavirus. Scientists believe that in the future, the genetic research done on COVID-19 can be applied to help them deal with other diseases as well. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.